All right, so this video is going to be about the ignition power uh, circuit in an Infiniti QX80. Um, this information would, might also relate to a Nissan Armada, a Nissan Titan, or uh, Infiniti QX56, although the diagrams and the vehicle that I have to share today is specifically a 2016 Infiniti QX80. All right, so... I was digging into the ignition power supply, the ignition circuit, because I had gotten an error code B26F2, which is ignition relay on, which, and in addition to that code, I had gotten a, um, a situation where many times I would try to start the engine and there would be no crank, no start situation. And because of the ignition relay on code that was led me into studying the ignition circuit uh, turned out in my case that isn't seem to be the, my, what my problem is I likely just have a starter problem but I dug into the ignition diagrams and I want to share those with you uh, today so part of the ignition system is basically you've got a body control module this thing here you have a um, an IPDM uh, module, and you have six relays that are related to your ignition circuit. I have the diagrams. I'll show you. So page one of the diagrams, and if you want to pause your um, video and take a snapshot, you can do that now. All right, but basically, this um, ignition relay. Um, it is controlled by the IPDM. It's one of the first relays in the circuit that um, turns power on to part of your ignition system. And in this case, specifically, it feeds fuse 72 and 74 that are uh, these devices here. I guess um, for the sake, if you aren't real familiar with reading diagrams, let me let me give a little overview on that. So if you see this symbol, this is a fuse. And so it's a 10 amp fuse. It's fuse number 74. And it's going to be located at the fuse and fusible link holder dash one. I'll show you where that assembly is in the vehicle. Okay. But that's what a fuse is like. Now, if you see um, something like this, this is a, um, a module or a device of some sort. In this case, occupant detection system control unit. Connector number B246 uh, is related to that. And it is pin 4 where this wire comes into. Okay. Now, in this case, a box like this where the words are inside, that means there's additional information related to that fuse. It doesn't mean that this is the power supply to that fuse. It means that there's more information in here. Let me show you another example of that with fuse number 37. Okay, that expanded circuit looks like this. So ignition fuse number 37, there's the fuse. It comes down through that relay and then feeds into all these devices. So just reading a diagram when there's words inside the box like that, it means there's a, there's a breakout page uh, like that. Okay. Um, so to get back into this system, part of your uh, ignition system is going to have things throughout the car, the IPDM module, the body control module, and the different six different relays. Um, so the first relay feeds into that circuit. Now, if you were trying to diagnose whether or not this relay was working, um, and a relay, by the way, is, is just a switch, an off and on switch, and it's controlled electrically. So it gets a signal to this coil, and that closes those contacts. Closed means it's turned on um, in this case. And so uh, if you wanted to find out you know, troubleshoot whether this relay is turning off or on. Um, the best thing to do if you is to find a fuse related to it. Because if you try to take the relay out and jump right across it and troubleshoot that way, then you've opened the circuit. So the simplest, e and sometimes these relays are really difficult to get to. 
So the best thing to do when troubleshooting is to find a fuse related to it. So the power that comes off that relay is both 72 and 74. So if you wanted to know if that relay was turned on, you would measure at those fuses. And on the back of those fuses, there's a little spot uh, where you can put either a test light or a multimeter to be able to measure for voltage. I will show you that in the vehicle. But moving on in the diagram, uh, you also have this uh, fuse block or junction block. Now that is located at your about where your left knee is inside the car in a little fuse panel. I'll show you that as well. But it actually has got this wavy symbol, which means it is broken, meaning continues on to another page. Okay, so this is page two. And so uh, let me show you that in case you want to take a screenshot of that as well. All right, so there's two relays in there, right? Ignition relay dash one and, and dash two. And ignition relay one, it gets turned on by the body control module. That's what turns it on and which then allows that power to go through that circuit once it's turned on. And that would feed fuse three at the fuse block, uh, junction block. And it's a 10 amp fuse. Now, all these little numbers in the bubbles, those are connectors related to this device. Uh, those are not all the connectors on the device, but they're the connectors related to the diagram uh, information for this device. And so that's how you know what connectors that would be plugging in there. And these little numbers here, those are the pin numbers related to the connector. Now, they're not showing you which connector in this case that's related to. But generally, you can just look at the um, connector information uh, pinouts and find out that those pins don't repeat themselves. And so you can isolate then uh, which connector it goes to. Now, if you need these diagrams other than this video, uh, the, I can tell you my source was my local public library, Chilton Auto Repair Manual, offers these to many libraries throughout the country. Um, so I was able to get these just by logging into the website of my local library, looking for the digital resource of Chilton Auto Repair Manuals, and then I looked up my car. Okay, and uh, so the fuses, or the, excuse me, the relays that are related through this fuse junction blocks, which again is located on the back side of the panel, the fuse panel, it's down by your left knee inside the car, is relay one and relay two. And fuse, if you wanted to know if this one was turned on, then it would be fuse 13 inside there would tell you it's a 10 amp fuse, which are red fuses. And that would tell you whether or not um, that relay had been turned off or on. And then in this box here can, and continued on to this page, um, this is the IPDM module. Those are the connectors related to what's pertaining to this diagram. And this CPU is inside the IPDM module itself. There's three relays inside there. There's an ignition relay and a relay two and a relay three. Now it's important that you notice that this IPDM module, that ignition relay is not the same relay as this one. This is inside of a, a fuse box area under the hood this one is related to it on the IPDM module itself, okay? And so you can see that these uh, relays, they get their power from this battery, this fuse off the battery, fuse block number 37. That's the uh, page, I expanded page I showed you earlier. And they close the relays and, and one comes down and feeds this device, the air levelizer, and uh, which is the air suspension deal. And then this other uh, box, which is that expanded list. And then this is page three. I'll hover over that for you. And so it gets, um, this ignition relay gets turned on and then it provides power to a number of things. The black dots mean that's a node, meaning those wires are electrically connected to each other. Now, if wires pass over like that and there's no black dot, that means they do not have an electrical connection there. They're just passing through, okay? And, uh, and again, this little wavy line on the CPU means that's related to that. And that's the CPU that's in the IPDM module. But this, uh, but this fuse here, 62, if you were to measure it, 
um, which is inside, which is on the IPDM module, that's how you could tell whether that relay was turned off or on. As, as well as the, when that relay's on, it feeds these other two, relay two and relay three. So uh, that's fuse 62 is a good place to measure to see if those relays are turning off and on. Okay, so the IPDM module layout, how do you know what is what on the IPDM module? I will show you the module, but this is the layout of it, also in the Chilton Repair Manual. And this shows ignition relay three is this guy. And this middle one is uh, relay two, and the ignition relay is there. And again, that ignition relay is the one related to here on the IPM module, not the other one in the junction box. And then there's fuses in there as well, right? There's 55, 57, here's 56, 62. I'll show you that on the module. And um, the junction block inside the car at your knees this is what that looks like here these relays this ignition relay two and ignition relay one those are actually on the back side of that fuse panel that's inside the car okay so you can't get to those very easy that's why it's so important to find test points within a fuse block that you can measure that way you don't have to take everything apart to get at it and also you don't have to open the circuit you can test it kind of live but these are those uh, fuse number one through four um, that are part of this diagnostic system for uh, or part of the ignition system rather and then this junction blocks is in the engine bay under the hood I'll show you where they're at but that's 72 and 74 and here's the ignition relay that related to that page one relay that's what this is and again that's under the hood and then there's a fuse number uh, 37 it's also under the hood. I'll show you that location. Now, part of troubleshooting all of this, I put an action plan together, and here's what that is. So these letter A, B, and C, that references, I actually wanted to troubleshoot this system and assume that, say, if, for instance, a particular relay was bad, if I took it out of the circuit, how would it still start the car? Um, and because I was trying to figure out like if something was broke and wouldn't start, I could, you know, be sure to check there the next time this intermittent problem happens. Because my situation of no crank, no start is highly intermittent. And it almost always happens when my wife's by herself and I'm not there to troubleshoot or help. Um, but basically, I disabled all the different relays one by one and the car started no matter what, if the relay was in or out. So it had to do with certain electrical parts related to you know, key on kind of stuff, but it actually didn't keep the car from starting any of these relays. So uh, there's that information. And, but here's an action list of like, what does each relay do? So this re relay is the one that's related to sheet one of the diagram. This is the stuff that's on the back side of the fuse block that you don't see. That's the inside at your knee uh, panel. And this is on the IPDM module itself, the three relays there. Um, and then after that, I put these steps together of what you should do if you're trying to go through step-by-step -step through test points using fuses as step points or test points to try to troubleshoot whether it works or not. Anyway, that was this is my notes and uh, what I put together on that. And so let me show you uh, the fuse box on the car. All right, so we're at the passenger side of the vehicle. Uh, this is the battery. This is a box behind the battery. The lid's been taken off. And inside this box is this thing here. That is your IPDM module, okay? And um, it can come out of that box by simply uh, pressing in some tabs. There's a tab. Let's see here if I can show it. There's, there's a tab on this side, and then there's a tab on this side over here. You just press them in inward, and you can get this to pull up. I found that the tab on this side was helped with a screwdriver or pocket knife or something because it just needs a little extra push. So on the IPDM module drawing, um, it shows you where those different relays are and the, where the fuses are at. Uh, the, the fuse that relates to my um, test sheet, if you're interested in using that to troubleshoot things, you see that um, 
the red 10 amp fuse there beside the blue 15 amp fuse, the one that's kind of, I'll call it in the middle, that's fuse number 62, okay? That's the fuse that gives power to the ignition relay um, right here. This is another box. I've, I've removed the lid already, but this there's three relays there, and, um, and it's this guy here is the ignition relay, and he gets his power from... The fuse 62, which is that red fuse right there, okay? And then um, as far as some of the other fuses go, when you're looking at this uh, module right here, this shows fuse number 37, which is always hot. That's um, a fuse inside of here, the middle fuse right there, that 10 amp fuse right in the middle. That's the that's fuse number 37. If you take a multimeter and you stab it in a little indent there uh, with a test light or a voltmeter, you'll measure, you'll get, you know, a light or you'll get your battery voltage, whatever that happens to be, 12 volts, whatever. Um, so that's fuse 37 uh, on this circuit here. And then if you were trying to look at um, these other relays, uh, so that's the ignition relay I showed you already. But in that block near it is fuse 72 and fuse 74. Um, that is these guys here. It's the two red fuses. So this that red fuse is 72 and the bottom one there is 74. Um, incidentally, right, the 30 amp and the 15 amp fuse, which is 71 and, and 73, uh, they are um, always hot. So you should have voltage there. Um, even when the key's off, but you'll only have voltage on those red ones when the power or the key is on, okay? Um, and that's the same thing for uh, fuse number um, 62 over here. He'll only be, he'll only have power when the key's on. Uh, 37 is always going to be hot. And um, yeah, that's your IPDM module. Now let's, if you want to see the um, the junction block, uh, the fuse panel where fuses one through four are. Again, that's inside the car. Down here, dang it, should have brought my light. But um, up at the top there is fuse number one, and it comes, proceeds downward according to that diagram. Those are the other ignition fuse related fuses. And then 13 and 14, they're on this side over here. Okay, and then there's two relays on the back side of this module, but you can see that'd be kind of tough to get out. That's why you want to just measure off the fuses and uh, and don't, not try to take that out. So I hope that I've helped um, try to provide some troubleshooting. Boy, there's so much I couldn't say. This is There's hours of data to, to just tell, explain each one of these circuits, each one of these lines. Um, if you got a question, leave it in the comments. Uh, if you appreciate make, make me making the video, give me a thumbs up. But you don't need to subscribe or any of that. I'm not trying to make a business out of this. I'm just trying to help somebody uh, since I understand this stuff well and, and have studied it. I hope this video helped.